You have chosen an option that can produce exciting results, but getting started can be complex. The video will give you step-by-step -step instructions to assist you in this process. If you do not understand the instructions, be sure to ask the instructor for clarifications. Prepare your source image. Crop it for effect. Think compositionally. Think about what you will be trying to communicate in your project. Will the person need breathing room? Or would cropping off some of the person be advantageous to communicate the emotion? When this is done, save the image. We will need to manipulate it more. Using a search engine and the keywords free photo posterizer, locate the IMG online link or use the address on this slide. Follow the site directions to posterize your image. You should play with the posterized level, select a black and white picture, and choose a standard JPEG file with a quality of 100. Choosing even one less or one more level can have a drastic effect on the outcome. Remember, this image is to be abstract, so do not choose so many levels that it remains realistic. If it's too simple, it can lose the ability to communicate the emotion. You want the medium. In my example, I tried a level 5, and it was too simple and lacking enough visual information to communicate. I tried a level 10, and it was the other extreme. It was not abstract enough. At level 8, I found the Goldilocks zone. When your image is acceptable, right-click and save the image. Open the image in a word processing document set to half-inch margins. Word is preferred. Google Docs is not very good with images. Resize the image so it fills the document in one direction. Do not make it so large that it goes outside of the margins or you will lose information when it is printed. And obviously the next step is print it. For this next step you will need a sharpie, a scrap sheet of paper, and your printed image. You will roughly trace the poster edges of the person in the photo. Leave the background for consideration later. You can, but are not required to trace these poster shapes exactly. You can use your aesthetic judgment and the understanding you have gained about emotions, line, and color to make changes. You can eliminate things or add things as you trace. Now consider the background. What can you do with it to enhance communication of your subject emotion? Again, you can use what is there, change it drastically, or end up somewhere in between. When you are done with the Sharpie, turn your photo over and you should see that the Sharpie has bled through. It will be a mirror image, but that is exactly what we need for the next step. Get a sheet of tracing paper and a 6B pencil and trace the mirror image. Press hard. This is a soft lead pencil and pressing hard will leave lots of lead behind, which is what we need. Congratulations, you have reached the final layout step, but it means you need to trace the image one more time. This time, place the tracing paper lead down onto your final paper and retrace it. You will force the lead on the other side of the tracing paper onto your final. When this is done, you are ready to paint.